Hello folks and welcome to App Screencast, Danny here. In today's video I'm going to show you how to use your iCloud service very much like you may have used iDisk in the past before Apple discontinued that service or even Dropbox. And what I mean by that is you'll be able to have a folder synced between all your Macs. So if you've got multiple Macs like me then you'll be able to sync a specific folder to all your different Macs then that will just allow you to have all your important documents on whatever Mac you're on no matter what Mac it is you'll have your most important documents. This can be pictures, videos, um, PDFs, Word documents, etc. So we can sync them across all our Macs. Pretty simple to do, so let's get straight into the video. So first off, you've got to go to System Preferences. Make sure you've got iCloud set up correctly. So go to iCloud. If you haven't already, then sign up with your Apple ID. Pretty simple to do. Then what you need to do is make sure that Documents and Data is ticked, which mine is. So once you've done that, you can move on to the next step. So you want to go to Finder, and you want to go to a library. Now, this is a hidden folder, so best way to get to it is to go to Folder, and type in tilde slash library. So tilde is the key next to the Shift key. So type in tilde forward slash library, and go to that folder. Now, once we're in this folder, you need to find mobile documents. So find that folder. Once you have, then open it. Now here what I suggest you do is create a new folder. Now we can call it anything we like. You can either call it synced folder or even iDisk if you wish. So let's call it iDisk. New folder. Create one. iDisk. Now once you create that folder you need to create an alias or even a shortcut. So let's right click or control click on the new folder and make an alias. Once you've made this alias you can do a number of things with it. You can either drag it and drop it into your dock like so or even onto your desktop or you can just leave it where it is but the whole point of creating this alias is so we can get easy access to this folder so I'm going to leave mine in the, docu in the documents for now you can even grab it and drag it and drop it into your sidebar if you wish like so so put wherever you prefer not a problem now once we've created this folder we can go into it and we can basically drag and drop our most important documents into this, this folder now, bear in mind, if you're using a free iCloud account, you've only got five gigs of space. So it's not a great lot of space. It will, it, you will lose it quite fast if you put everything in there. So what you need to do is just put in your most important documents, which you'll want, to, which you'll want on all your different Macs. So, so that is it. You've got now your own, basically, iDisk, wherever you need it. Now, to set this up on your other Macs, just follow the exact same steps as I've just shown you, and it'll work fine. As long as you're using the, the same Apple ID on every Mac, you will not have a problem. So yeah, thanks for watching this video, hopefully you found it useful. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you enjoyed the video. And if you wish, you can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash appscreencast. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Goodbye.